Hey tasters, I'm in the Larnaca Honey Villages and specifically, I'm in Laia. Laia Village is at 300 meters above sea level. It's just a short car ride away from Larnaca and you should absolutely come here. It's a beautiful village. Why am I here? I'm here to meet the most creative man in Cyprus. His name is Pete Gallagher and he runs the Laia Village Crafts. I want Pete to help me with something. I'm going to have a big get together, loads of wine, loads of friends, lots of wine glasses. And you know what happens after the second glass of wine? Nobody's quite sure whose glass is whose. So there is an easy solution to this, wine glass charms. Pete is fantastic and he's renowned for working with olive wood and vine wood. And I want my wine glass charms to be authentic, to have something of Cyprus. No plastic beads for me. I'm going to order from Pete the most special wine glass charms anyone's ever had. This workshop is like a fairyland. Let me show you around. Come with me. So Pete, there's so much artwork here, this uh, Laia Village crafts. It's not all your craft uh, work. You work with wood, but I can see lots of different things here. So is this, uh, is this the local craft center? So I decided to get involved with the village. And apart from that was cleaning all the olive trees. And from that, we fed the uh, goats up the, uh, up the village, a peseta. That left me with all the olive branches. So now I needed to do some work with these. So I decided to cut them up and do something with it. And this here was the result of just making something with my hands, where otherwise it would have been thrown away, it would have been burnt. So I'm really, it's like a, a, like a full circle. People from the village now know what I do, and they're getting involved. And this is how this craft shop is evolved from a little hobby. It's probably around about five or six artists in the village, and it's somewhere they're doing things as well. So it just highlights what is in these rural villages. It's not just about, like I said, sitting in a hotel by the pool. You need to come out to the villages and see what people do. And to make this work, you need to know, understand the culture, you know, and why things happen. Um, as as, you can, as I mentioned, you got the uh, you got the olive, but these need protection. So, from the beehives, what we have in the village, I produce a wax. So that's the bee wax. This is the bees wax with um, like a linseed oil, and it protects the wood. Wow. So I'm using all materials from the village. So it's recycling in a big way. So you've made this wood and leather balsam. Yeah. Uh, for the wood, it gives, for the wood, instead of using chemicals, what you could buy down, say, one of the uh, DIY shops, I make it here. I get supplied from the people, from the hives in the village. And it just all works. It all just works together. together. Yeah. So you're really just rebuilding this sense of community through art but, and, and, and uh, a great spirit of recycling as well and reusing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it has evolved even further than that with the B hotels, which I can touch on a bit later on, because um, it's using products from the bees, with the honey, the waxes, the hives, the wood. It all... Blend into one. So, Pete, tell me, tell me about this beautiful bottle. Ooh, right. Um, this was a gift, um, which was given to me when I opened up the craft shop, which was only about a year ago. Um, 
then we, we had a, a, a few events and this little old lady came in and sh she bought one of, uh, one of Lynn's paintings. But it appeared to me she was more interested in the bottle. It's got some beautiful Greek writing on it. And I didn't want to damage it by cleaning it, so I've just left it. But she was really interested in it, just this bottle. To me, it, it, it's very nice. Been trying to find out who this bottle, where it's come from, and nobody seems to know. And Wine Scribbles is on the case, being a detective, so I'm hoping she's going to come up with some information regarding what's on the, on the words. Tasters, can you help us with this mystery? Do you have any idea who made this wine? How long ago? If you know, let us know in the comment below. <laughs> <laughs> so this is very eye-catching, and I've seen the I have seen these uh, over the all over the honey villages, and I didn't know Pete made them, but it's Pete who makes them. What we have here is a bee hotel. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Five star, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the Laotis uh, B Hotel. I've made uh, two other, two hotels for a uh, Milini and Ora. Uh, slightly bigger than this one, but this was just a project uh, which I just wanted to do anyway. Um, then somebody come past and notice it, then they wanted one. Of them. And in between that, we had um, uh, the honey route established for the, uh, nine villages which are from Lefkara, uh, Kato Lefkara, Katedris, Vavla, uh, Leia, Ora, Udu, Milini, and Oyos, Vatsinia. Um, but obviously then we had the problem with the lockdown, so things just come to... But in the meantime, um, these are doing okay. These, these are actually used for the, um, uh, the solitary bees, uh, not so much the honey bees. The solitary bees are for the pollinators, what pollinate all the flowers, the greenery, everything you see is from these guys here. They don't get the attraction because they just do the pollination, they do the mating in between the flowers uh, for nature. Then the other guys come in, then they take the nectar and they go to pollen, back to the nest and make the honey. These guys here, these guys here if you can see, they make their little nests in, in, in between. Uh, there's one there, there's one there, and there's a few others. There's another one there. And they lay about six, five, six eggs, and they're in different compartments. Then uh, they come out and just happily go. They're not so much of a, like a, a bad bee by stinging, but you just leave them alone and they just get on with it. So the pollinator bees need to do the work before the honeybees can come in and do all the glamorous honey work. Yeah, because, yeah, um, like all the flowers, the pollinators have done the flowers, because they pollinate from flower to flower. Um, then the bees come after them, then they go back to the nest and produce the honey. So it's a full circle. So these really need protecting more so than the honeybees. I didn't know that. We learn something new every day. Thank yeah. you, Pete. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so, Pete, I need uh, I need to order from you uh, wine glass charms, and I'd like them to be made because I find what you do so inspirational. The way you just tap into Cypriot tradition and also use the raw materials straight from from Cyprus nature. And I've heard that you can make wine glass charms made of wood, but also vine. I realized the vine actually is long strands. And it's it's long strands, not short strands with any other wood, but it's long strands. Uh, an example would be like string. It easily breaks. Um, and some of the vines, what I have been using, is probably, I'd say, probably about 30 years old or somewhere like that. Um, the same process is with the same with the olive beads. You need to cut it down and remove the old bark. Then you have to cut these down and you have to reshape them. Uh, this, is, this is an example here. Um, initially, the olive wood is for convoloi. You know, uh, worry beads, and it's 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 transcended into lots of other parts and pieces. 
But um, here there's two. This one and this one here are from the vine. The other three are olive beads. Okay. But those two there are from the vine, which was an experiment about a year ago. It's difficult trying to work with the uh, with the with the bead itself because I wasn't really sure how it's gonna what's the word I'm looking for is manipulate it to to be what I want it to be I love them they, they look so um, uh, so earthy so so authentically Cypriot and uh, luckily I never travel without my wine glass so let's test this <laughs> There you go. Obviously, I don't know what size glass is. I'm not. You're the expert in this this field. Um, you can use elasticated ones, which obviously the bases of the glass. You can you can mess around with that. But really, I'd rather have the authentic twine, which is from the vine. So. I know you all want these and I don't blame you and what you have to do is get in touch with Pete. Uh, he'll need to make everything by hand so you just have to call in and let him know and I'll leave all the details in the description below. Uh, Pete's got a wonderful Facebook page, um, you're soon going to be on Instagram as well and a website so I'm going to leave all the links for you guys. Just have fun exploring and then get in the car and come to Laia and explore this beautiful workshop too and talk to Pete. Very inspirational. So tasters, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, make sure you subscribe and get in touch with P Pete Gallagher to order your very own wine glass charms made of olive and vine wood natural authentic cyprus i'll see you next week thank you okay. bye bye